are black entrepreneurs held down by the system? I'm gonna tell you the little known truth right in this video. So the answer may not be what you think because when it comes to people believing that they can or can do something based on their skin color, you may not lag the answer. I'm gonna get into what people can control and what they can do because it's usually what people can control that can contribute to people's success when it comes to raising money. And I'm gonna walk through the little known psychological forces for the first time in buying real estate or in buying businesses. So basically the first thing is you have to be really aware of the psychological triggers. You can look at the externals and the racism and all this, but there's something that's more powerful that is more above anything that you can ever think about. It really it all starts with what you think because entrepreneurs who wanna raise capital it's highly contingent on the work that you put in and the energy that you put out to the people that you, the investors that you sell and what you know. But when it comes to what happens, yeah, there's a reality that there's a lot of, there's a lot of problems out there, but you have to really protect your thoughts because your thoughts usually turn into outdated beliefs because what you think, and, and I'll link the research in the description, but usually the things that you think about over and over again repetitively, when you think about things over and over and over again repetitively, rather than thinking about the things that you can't control, what can happen is that your thoughts can turn into a belief. And the beliefs that you have can turn into confirmation bias, which means that you look out into your environments to see things that can confirm the beliefs that you already have. So for example, if you believe that you're bad at math, or for example, let's walk through this. Let's say you think about being bad at math because you get bad F's on math tests. It's actually a choice to believe the thoughts of you being bad on math tests. It's a complete choice. If you let it become something that forces you down and you accept those thoughts and then they turn into beliefs, then you've chosen to believe that the thought, that the belief that you're inferior because you're not good at math. And the next step after you have a belief, especially when it comes to African-American entrepreneurs who want to raise capital or buy businesses and things like that. The next step is that after a belief, it will turn into confirmation because what people do is that they'll look into their environments to see things that confirm their pre-existing beliefs. And this is called confirmation bias. And the research will be linked in the description. But basically, it's when you have a belief that, oh, I'm bad at math, and then you'll see things in your environment to confirm that you're bad at math. For example, let's say you're doing a financial model and you didn't know how to do a formula in a complicated Excel chart. But it may not be because you're bad at math, maybe because the Excel chart glitched. So you just look for things in your environment to confirm that you're bad at math. And when you do that, you create something called confirmation bias. And that confirmation bias will lead to the worst points, which is a conviction. And when you're convicted of something, it's really a crystallized belief that is very hard to change. And it'll be stuck in your subconscious because when you have something that you think is always true and you're convicted of it because you've seen enough proof into your, in your environment and you believe it and you think about it, then you have a conviction. And for those who are African-American entrepreneurs who want to raise capital to buy businesses, you have to be really careful and aware not to turn these thoughts about things being unfair into beliefs and then which turn into confirmation, which turn into convictions. You have to make sure that you focus on stopping these things at the thought points. Because if you don't create policies and if you have no control over what other people do, then there's no utility in turning those thoughts into a belief, right? So if somebody says, hey, I'm not raising capital, like I'm not going to raise money for your deal because you're black. Very few people have been told this, but many people would often believe that's why they're not raising capital for their deals. And so they may have that confirmation bias. Whereas it may just be that the deal was not something the investor was looking for. And again, that's not to say that things aren't fair. It's just to say that if there's no way of you proving something or no way of you to check and confirm something, or there's no way for you to control another person's reaction, then what utility would it bring for you to actually make a change? So the solution is to just focus on what you can control. And then if you can actually create policies and systems for you to actually raise capital easier, then just focus on doing that. But if you can't do that, then just completely ignore it because you just want to focus on the things that can get your results in raising money. And so if this made sense, feel free to hit that like button. And if you want to work with our team and actually learn how to raise capital to buy real estate or businesses, make sure you head to